The video you're about to watch is an extract from the upcoming episode of the LibreQuest podcast. LibreQuest is a Linux and open source podcast. The link to the podcast is in the description. The next program we well, the next program we have is uh, perhaps more of a technical program for a more technical minded Linux user. And this program is Restic. And essentially what this is, is it's a terminal backup program, um, which is going to appeal to a lot of people because it will, of course, be highly configurable, very minimalist. You know, you can automate it very easily and you can kind of get it to do whatever you want, pretty much. Uh, and what we have here is, in fact, the um, guide on how to use it. So as you can see, you know, installation, backing up, you set up a repository, which is what the program calls where the backups are saved. And of course, you can restore from the backup, remove the backups, pretty much everything you want out of a backup program. So for demonstration's sake, let's go ahead and quickly make a backup. Um, copy pasting this command, uh, except let's modify it for what we want. So let's say hypothetically we want to store our backups in the documents folder. So let's just go ahead and copy paste that. And let's say we want to store it in our home folder under documents backups. Or I think it was, yeah. So um, let's go ahead and, yeah, as you can see, that folder's there documents backups. Enter the password for the new repository, so of course your backups are password protected. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, that's worked. The backup has been like the backup has been done. Um, so now let's go ahead and back up. So we go into the guide again, and we can see we have how you would make the backup. So let's go ahead and just copy paste the first part of this command. And let's suppose we of course want to make our uh, backup in this exact folder. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste it again for simplicity's sake. Then exactly as that say, we, uh, it says we type in backup. And then let's go ahead and, you know, give it the verbose command. And then let's say we want to back up our entire home folder, so let's just go ahead and do that. And apparently it doesn't recognize the verbose flag, uh, even though it was recommended in the guide, but that's fine. Let's just do it this way. And we of course enter the password for the repository. And what it will then do is go ahead and back up our entire home folder. And it will give us this snapshot number. So now if we go into backups, we can see snapshots. There it is. That's our entire home folder backup. And yeah, that's pretty safe. Um, so what you can now do is, if you so desire, uh, we can go down to restoring from backup. And then as you see, we can go ahead and restore the backup. So let's just go ahead and do that because, sure. Um, and then of course, our uh, backup is stored in our documents and backups. And then we want to go ahead and type in restore. And then the number we got from earlier, uh, this one, let's go ahead and put that in. And let's say that we just want to dump that into the backups folder again. Well, let's say we want to put it into our documents. And then we can go ahead and do that. And in theory, if we enter the password again, that should go ahead and undo our backup. So now we can go into there, go into our home folder, and there's some backups I made. And that's just kind of a junk file I made to test that everything was working. And indeed, as you can see, it is. It's a little bit more of a technical solution uh, than, for example, Time Shift or, you know, Deja Do. However, it is very good and it will be quite secure because your backups are, of course, password protected. So if you're a more technical minded user, this is a fantastic option for you. Well, let's go ahead and look at the next program.